Welcome to your friends. In our next session of design tool workshop, we were talking about HTML. I have given you practice how to write the text, how to create table, how to insert list, how to insert hypertext, image, many things, correct? By using those things, we are going to create a application form. Application form means when you fill any application form, the details which you fill. It is application form. I will show you here the which kind of output see in the basic application form or registration form what you will observe name contact number gender language app highest qualification your address then you will submit correct so this thing we are going to create in today's sessions for that we use the concept and we will write some coding so already i have this coding with me we will see how it will work first thing title is simple form what is title now you understood already correct so title will be simple form next inside the body whatever you write inside the body it will only display as output so simple registration form as you can see here simple registration form okay next you want to create a form so we will give a command form here in the form if you see this output it is looking very organized manner why because it is created in the form of table a table you cannot see table you cannot see but it is written in a form of table so it is well organized otherwise it will be a zigzag okay but here it is well organized why because behind this there is one table we which we have made and the in the table first row is name so we will see here how it is working table in the table first row first thing is name close now next input type in the name what here it is showing it is showing one rectangular box where it is showing then something upper case means you have to write something in upper case your name in the upper case it is giving you a hint so this thing we have to create a place to write your name in upper case okay so how we are making input type which kind of input we want a text format correct our input type is text then we it will create a placeholder that rectangular box a placeholder inside placeholder it is showing you you have to write in upper case suppose you are writing filling a form for first time you don't know anything how you will write so randomly you will write in small capital everything correct na so here it is giving you instruction you have to write your name in this particular rectangular box there is space holder how you have to write in the upper case then close this then close the first row here you will close the first row next second row contact now contact will be phone number will be in the numerical form or phone you can write here then phone number again you are giving some hint you can see here in output is correct so it will create a contact okay both where you use the option placeholder to give a rectangular box but when you are coming to third option gender here you can see a circular things okay how to create this i will tell you but have you understood till now yes you are creating a table inside table row first row is name then input type name is in the form of text so you are creating one location to write where you are giving a instruction that you have to write in upper case the same way contact contact will be in the form of number numeric value or phone correct place holder inside which you are writing some instruction next coming another row gender in gender input type radio radio will give you a circle sir why we are writing the radio why we cannot write circle there is reason behind it which i will tell you in radio first gender first gender is male again copy paste same thing and change female there are, there are two genders actually there are three now male female and transgender correct but basic i am giving male and female you can put transgender also no issue now what is the use of radio now male female either you can be male or you can be female correct you can choose only one option you can't choose both if you are both means transgender 
okay. So, anyhow you can choose only one option single option. So, for that purpose we need a circle radio. So, input type is our radio, okay. Male, female it is giving option here value male and female. Next language known, language known input type giving check box why what is the difference here see the output it is showing check box. Now, language you can know many language we know English, Hindi, Telugu correct you can know Karnataka, Kannada also. So, here you can choose the multiple options for choosing multiple options we are using input type check box first we are giving English next Hindi, Telugu, Kannada am I clear? How you can see the difference you are seeing the difference now first placeholder rectangular next was radio where you can select only one option the third one is check box where you can select the multiple options. Next highest qualification what is difference here in qualification you can see here a menu bar menu tree you click here it will open list you have to select particular single list you want a menu bar a menu from the menu you want to select particular thing like you are going in restaurant and selecting some particular thing from the menu card correct na? same way here it will open a menu you will select a particular thing for this purpose we are using select option you are selecting from menu you are selecting something what you are selecting you have different options from different options you are selecting your particular option so select command then option first not applicable second SSC enter graduate postgraduate correct close this close the select close this row data correct. So, you have seen different says first was placeholder next radio you can select only one option check box you can select multiple option then select an option where you will get different options you will select from the menu a particular your choice. Next comes address address you need a blank space where you will write your space your address. So, how to create the space you can see here this is space this is space you can increase decrease anything you can do for that what you are doing you are creating text area how much area you want. So, area is nothing but in terms of columns and rows you are creating area in terms of columns and rows here inside this there are columns and rows we increase or decrease number of columns and rows the text area will also increase and decrease. So, if it is table where are the lines for line if you remember previous session of table we have given some style then only the line has came initially there was no line there was only text if you remember. So, if I will put a style and all these things then the lines will come otherwise it will be a plain area only where you can write anything ok. So, this is about how to write address after this at last you have to submit or reset for that input type is submit another input type is reset. So, we have seen different input types and how different things are used again I will revise you first you are going to create form use the form in the form we are creating a table to make it in a well organized manner then first row name input type is name is text placeholder to create a place where you will write the name it will give you instruction right in the upper case the same way next row contact it will be a number phone number placeholder for that next input type is radio to select any one thing any one option correct in male female you can select any one next language here you can select multiple languages. So, you need check box input type is check box now qualification someone is 10th pass someone 12th pass only some is graduate some is post graduate correct. So, different options are there. So, from different option different menu items you have to select your particular item. So, we are using select an option tags ok. After this we, we need to write our address address we need a area where we will write the address. So, we are using text area and we are giving number of columns and rows then close this text area. Next at last you have to submit for submit again input type submit and input type reset if you want to reset 
So this is how your form is completed. Now save this and open. Already I have this with me. If I have not saved, then I will control S. I have this with me already. Heading. See, this is the registration form. Now type here your name, A, B, C, phone number, five, six, seven, nine, some number. Select male or female. You can select any one option as I told you. Checkbox language. I can select multiple. Correct. Highest qualification from here. Select whatever you want. Address. You type your address. Blah blah blah. Okay. And then click on submit or reset. It will not submit. Obviously, we have created only front end cover page only. Okay. So you have learned how to create a web page or registration form. Okay. Practice these things very well. We will see you in the next class. So till now we have seen. HTML, CSS, two things. How do we? You are using HTML, and CSS. Okay, then. Take care.